Um, now to all the buzz about The Mandalorian, the first live-action Star Wars series. The highly anticipated second episode is out now on Disney Plus this morning. Our Chris Con Connolly sat down with star Pedro Pascal and executive producer John Favreau. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Sarah. Yeah, ser ser yay. Series creator John Favreau likes to say that Mandalorian is inspired by some of the same things that inspired George Lucas when he created Star Wars. Those westerns with Clint Eastwood on horseback, and those old Saturday matinee serials that always ended in a cliffhanger, like the OMG surprise that Episode 1 served up this week. We headed to the set to learn more. You get to put this helmet on and let your imagination sort of run wild. Created by ace filmmaker John Favreau and starring Game of Thrones charismatic Pedro Pascal, alive and kicking under that helmet. And it's, it's strangely liberating, to be honest with you. The Mandalorian is the first Star Wars live action series ever. Its episodes appearing only on the streaming service Disney Plus. You are a Mandalorian. You see characters that are warriors, but also have a code. The cliffhanger end of its first episode blew the doors off social media, with its bounty hunter hero unveiling a baby, a reveal so potentially spoilerific, even its masterminds were anxious. Well, it was just exciting for us to get to the premiere of the show without anyone finding out about the baby, really. Yes. <laughs> I'll confess, I've never gotten into trouble, but I'm not the best at um, keeping secrets. Okay. <laughs> and this was the first time that I, I took you very seriously. Yeah. I wouldn't even tell my, I, I didn't tell my family. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. What do you admire about your character? Well, I love his mystery. It isn't as easy as you think. And um, it isn't just about uh, uh, not knowing um, who he is or where he's from, but also how he hides himself within the armor and, 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 and what he hides from himself. Like the audience, these two share a lifetime love of Star Wars. What was your Star Wars past? We know that John worked as a movie usher during right. Return of the Jedi yeah. and saw it over and over and over again. What about you? Well, my whole childhood was shaped, uh, so, 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 so much of our childhood was shaped by, by Star Wars, um, the movies and the merchandise. Literally have the action figures? Did you? Oh, absolutely. Boba Fett and Greedo were my favorite toys. And um, that's fun. You could, you, could, you could reenact who shoots first over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> to step into a job that stimulates in, in such a visceral way your childhood memories. I, I'm not gonna lie, it's very strange. Yeah, I think this kicks up happy childhood memories for a lot of people. Well, after its buzzy launch earlier this week, The Mandalorian has episode two dropping today on Disney+. Plus. Guys? We are all very excited about that. All right, Chris, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.